Will you please welcome one of my favourite directors working in world cinema today, Mira Naya. I have a huge appetite for life and, and making pictures, you know. Uh, you know, doesn't satiate my appetite fully, but really gives expression to that. And uh, I love people and I really have a, I'm a real student of life. I mean, my, most of my inspiration and comes from the street, comes from people and the amazing things we do, you know. Uh, and that kind of ordinary heroism, that kind of, um, uh, anyway, it's uh, the sort of uh, extraordinariness of it, uh, of ordinary things, is what really moves me. I know Danny Boyle watched Salam Bombay before he shot. Of course he did, yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he says at the end. No, he's a, he's a friend of mine yes, and he's a very uh, excellent filmmaker and I think it was a big influence in casting real street kids and speaking Hindi. The way you were shooting there, yeah. which, which is quite sort of documentary, it's quite quick. Yeah. Um, was that the only way you, you knew how to film at that point, or was it just it, its circumstances that dictated the way you film? Both, you know. I mean, there are certain things. I'm very influenced by photographs, you know, by photography in general. And uh, so I really devoted to the frame. And so it's, it's a lot about how you frame it, you know, but uh, Salam Bombay was also very dictated by speed, location, time, stock money and all of that. Monsoon Wedding came out of a, a three year fairly fallow period where I was um, making a screenplay that then I abandoned, you know, and, uh, and I was living in also again in South Africa then and also teaching uh, young people in townships whatever I knew about cinema and the principle was making something out of nothing. That was what I was teaching um, and, and how to do that in, mm -hmm. in filmmaking. And then I thought I should uh, live by my own words and try to do that myself uh, after having made bigger films and so on. So it really came out of an experiment to see if an interesting film could be made in a million dollars, which was the, roughly the budget of Salam Bombay 12 years before. I had no expectations for myself. I was making an intimate family flick that went with my son's school holidays that I could just do around my dining table with my friends and family and saris and crockery and you're just doing your thing, you know, and uh, I, I think that suits me best. I just wanted to get into uh, Amelia uh, because that, it, it's your latest film. Uh, I was intrigued. I first saw the newsreels of Amelia, the real uh, Amelia, 16 hours of them that do exist, and I was intrigued by her odd sense of humility, you know, despite being an icon. She was uh, goofily humble, and that's not a trait as we know in America, a uh, common trait in America. So I was intrigued by that, and then I got involved, you know, and she was someone who, uh, I just liked her spirit and her lack of pretension, and I felt some kind of strange affinity with her. It's a curiously old-fashioned film. It has a kind of matinee kind of element to it. It's sort of something you hadn't done before. I wondered if it was the, the genre of film. It's the, the time, rolling, it's the, the period, mm -hmm. the 20s and the 30s. And I wanted to, and also the way Amelia is, the way she is brought up, the way she speaks. It's like Kate Hepburn. I mean, yes. in, she is like that, uh, the real Amelia. And Hillary uh, wanted to very much do the real character. There was no question of us inventing of fictional Amelia, you know, mm. when we have, you know, we know what she was like to some extent. So that and the period and the planes themselves, you know, I wanted to shoot an anamorphic, which was this wide uh, screen, uh, to encompass the planes and the flying of it. And so that also dictates a certain sculptural kind of look, which is of the time. Uh, so I, 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 I didn't have some fancy kind of vision about having some kinetic camera that did this and that. I wanted to first do justice to the pl flying. Mm -hmm.